this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool video inside text effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see this is what the effect looks like. If you watch it again, there's actually a video, as you can see, playing inside the text. So it's a really cool um, effect. And there's definitely a very like basic and very generic way of doing this, where you just kind of have like a black background. But I wanna show you how to create a video inside the text with also a video playing behind it. So it's a little more of an advanced tutorial rather than just having that black background. I will show you how to create this effect completely from scratch. And I think this effect is really gonna make your music video look very interesting because if you don't know how to do this, it can definitely be really hard to figure out how to do this off the top of your head without any kind of tutorial or without any kind of help. But don't worry, in this video, I will show you how to create this effect completely from scratch. So as you can see, here are the two clips that we're using to create this really cool effect. Now you're only going to need two clips in order to create this really cool video inside text effect. So what you want to do is you want to head over to the second video and you want to just add a text layer. Now there is a shortcut and that shortcut is Control T. So if you type on Control T, it's going to create a basic title. And I'm just going to trim the title to the length of the video. Now it's really important or another really important step is you want to make sure both these videos are the exact same duration or else it's not going to look good. That's just a, a small little tip. So I have the text right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and just type in, I'll just type in the Kid Leroy. So you can obviously type in anything you want so let's type in the kid Leroy now all you want to do is you want to edit the text so I'm going to change the font I'm going to change the font to Futura I'm going to go to here I'm going to go and click on bold and I'm going to turn the font bold and now I'm going to increase the font you know as big as I want of course this is just this is just all a personal preference I'm going to add a little bit of an outline to make it kind of like the text a little bit wider or, or a little more bolder so I go in width kind of increase the width a little bit so as you can see all you're doing right here is you're just editing the text now if I go over here to enable the show horizon, I can kind of just center the text up. So if I do something like this, there we go, the text is centered. So that's the first thing you do, add a text layer and then just edit the text. Have it say whatever you want, add whatever you want. This is just what I did. Of course, it, you know, it's dependent on what you want to do, but just simply, you're just going to add a text layer on top of the second video and just edit it to your liking. So I'm going to head over here to view and I'm going to go ahead and just disable the show horizon. Now you want to click on your text layer, make sure the text layer is above the video and you want to take the blend mode and you want to change the blend mode to stencil alpha. So as you can see, I changed the blend mode to stencil alpha. You're not going to be able to create this effect unless you use a stencil alpha a blend mode. And now as you can see, it looks pretty cool, but this is very like generic and by itself, it looks pretty cool. But if you just did this, obviously I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this, but this is very too like generic, very simple. I want to show you how to make this effect even cooler. But again, if this is what you're looking for, just kind of a black background, there you go. You create the text effect. However, if you want to take it to that next level and make it look a lot cooler, I'll show you how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to select the text and the video and you want to create a compound clip. So go ahead, click option G and we'll just call this text or I guess we can just maybe type it like video inside text. So all you're going to do is you're going to create a compound, a compound clip. So you're just going to create an actual compound clip and now you can place it on top of the second video or the first video. Take the compound clip and then just place it on top of the second video. And then as you go the first video and then as you can see, there you go. Now you have to create the really cool video inside text effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now if you're wondering what if I want to edit the text or edit the video inside the text, open up the compound clip, select on the video itself and then head over here to position and then as you can see see I can adjust the position so you can adjust the position of the video inside the text just open up the compound clip and adjust the position of the video and then as you can see there you go now the position of the video has changed so if you're wondering how do I do that just open the compound clip and adjust the actual video layer and then as you can see there you go as you can see now you have a video inside of text with a video as the background so I just think this is a lot cooler than just having like a black background now there's actually a couple different things you can actually do to this compound clip to make it look even cooler. One thing you could do is add like a really cool glow or stroke effect. So if I head over here to my effects, add, uh, I'm gonna add the outer glow effect. This is uh, for sale on my website. So as you can see, now you have that text kind of has like a glow, so it increased the radius. So you can add kind of a stroke or a glow to the actual text itself just to make it stand out so it doesn't blend so much into the background. So if I play the video, there you go. You have a really cool stroke effect. And now you can kind of add whatever 
you want to this. So let's say I want to go to blur. I want kind of like a prism blur. So as you can see, you could add a whole bunch of effects onto the actual text to make it look even cooler. You could add a drop shadow too to give it a little more depth. But there you go. Now you can add whatever you want to this compound clip, a blur, a prism blur, a, a stroke effect, a glow effect, whatever you want. You can add pretty much anything you want to this text effect. And there you go. You now just doing this, a, a couple little effects and those couple little things it already makes the video it like the video inside text effect. I just think it looks so much cooler than just having a black background and there you go that's how you create this really cool video inside text effect in Final Cut. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.